Welcome back everybody to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be I'm actually gonna be showing you guys how to get hard mode R R? Hard mode ores. Now if you guys are actually just playing and um please ex actually excuse the Okay, I can't play anything. This is like annoying. Oh my god. Anyways, if you guys are wondering how to get hard mode ores. Um, not Mo Ors, but if you guys are wa wa wanting to actually get hard Mo Ors, what am I talking about? Anyways, if you guys, <laughs> okay, take, take, take two, take two, take two. Welcome back everybody to another video. In today's video, if you guys are willing, wanting to get hard mode Ors on Terraria, this is what you are going to have to do. Hard more Ors, I'm sorry, are going to, they play a big play in what you actually, actually need to actually get when you actually start to actually get into the hard mode area they actually play a big thing because they're a lot more stronger and you can make a lot of stuff like as the adamantite stuff or you can get the um the well that's not hard mode uh mithril pickaxe you can you have to get the uh, mithril anvil or the other one which is purple then you have to get the adamantite forge or titanium forge and then you can have to get you have to have hard mode ores just to get a lot of a lot of stuff and it's just the way you have to have them, and some people don't know how to actually get them. They will look up on YouTube, and here is an instructional video for you guys today. Um, I hope you guys are actually having a good day as well. But if you guys are actually um, gonna want to get hard mode ores, first off, you have to do you have to defeat the Wall of Flesh. I'll probably do a video about that later, but you are gonna have to, in fact, defeat the Wall of Flesh. And when you guys have this hammer right here, you guys will do it. If you guys are wondering what happened to my old world, I had to reset my computer, so I don't have that world no more. But uh, So I basically have to restart. But you guys will need this, and you will need to defeat the Wall of Flesh. Now, the Wall of Flesh is not hard. Pretty much all you have to do is go all the way down, all the way here, and then you should be able to make like one of your little things like I have here. And then you will know when you defeat the Wall of Flesh because you'll have this thing right here. And then after you guys defeat the wall of flesh, you guys are actually want to go want to go to go around, and you guys are actually want to go into your um, corrupted area. Now, when you guys go to your corrupted area, you will find these demon altars. Now, I will explain what those are, but you guys are going to actually want to go ahead and smash those. So um, it is very dark out here. I actually did this at a very great time, knowing that I actually did this at a great time. So I will see you guys. I will see you guys when I can go and find a demon altar. All right, guys. <laughs> it's a little bit too dark for me to actually go ahead and find a demon altar. Oh, my God. I wish I could. Uh, I found. But what you guys are really going to go ahead and do, and you guys basically, all you have to do, if you guys are on PC um, or whatever, go ahead and go to your um, purple area, the, per the area that's kind of purple or crimson, if you guys have uh, crimson or corruption. Go to one of those. See right here, somewhere around right here. Now, if you guys go ahead and zoom in, um, you can actually go ahead and see stuff like that's pot. That'd be a pot. This is a, a shadow orb, or um, considering a heart. If you guys have the crimson, this is a statue, and some of these are demon altars. I don't think I um, actually broke all of them because, see, and then so you would want to go to one of these things right here. Now, demon altars um, look like this. You guys should see one pop up on the screen. They will actually look like these. They will. Um, look like this or this if depending on which one you guys have the crimson or corruption and you guys are actually going to have to go ahead and break those and once you guys break those you should ha see a little message on the bottom of your screen that says um, your world has been blessed with the actual ore that you actually got now depending on the ore you actually got um if i can find my ores you will actually go ahead and be able to make some stuff that you, what you do need to go around as you can see i have adamantite and some mithril ore don't have a lot. Um, I do have cobalt, but I um, I don't need cobalt at this time. But hey, that's how you guys get uh, um, hard mode ores. And here is adamantite, and here is some mithril ore. Adamantite, mithril, and um, so on actually are probably one of the most uh, valuable ones in your early times of uh, in the hard mode on Terraria. It's it's your most valuable. Uh, the adamantite or mithril, they're they're more valuable, but if you guys, if you guys find this helpful, let me know down in the comments below because uh, at first I I didn't know how to break it, and if you guys are wondering how to break the actual ore itself, like mithril, adamantite, or the other one that I can't pronounce, it's the purple one. You guys are gonna need an actual strong enough pickaxe to do that, which would be the molten pickaxe. I'm pretty sure the molten pickaxe has 150 pickaxe power, so you you can actually like get uh, cobalt. Once you get cobalt, you can go ahead and actually do, uh, get 
adamant or uh, mithril and after mithril you can get adamantite it's a it's a it's a process and it really does take a little while but after you t get it down you can actually start to get your mithril pickaxe and you'll get your adamantite sword and then you can start to um, actually go ahead and start actually doing uh, and you know fighting up to the hard mode mechanical bosses once you guys are done with the hard mode uh mechanical bosses you pretty much you're going and going and going and going until you can actually get to the moon lord but besides the point everybody that's how you get i can't gotta stop talking that is how you guys get the hard mode auras you gotta break the demon altars you first gotta defeat defeat the wall of flesh once you guys are done defeating the wall of flesh make sure you guys can go ahead and actually get the um demon altars um once you guys got the demon altars you should be able to uh, get uh some of the hard mode ores and sorry that i couldn't actually show you this but uh, people kept things just kept killing me um as you can tell i'm i'm pretty weak at this moment because i lost my other world but if this was helpful for you guys let me know down in the comments below i'm sorry that this was just a weird video I, this is going to be obviously edited edited i'm sorry that it actually took a little while for me to actually um do some stuff but uh besides the point let me know that if you know it actually helped for you guys and if it did i'm actually gonna be freaking gra grateful um I I'm, I'm saying some weird stuff again. Sorry, I haven't made a video in a long time, guys. If you guys are subscribed to my channel and stuff like that, you guys should know that I have not made a video in a long time. I'm just saying. So, yeah. So, thank you very so much for watching. I hope it was helpful. And if you guys did, let me know down in the comments below if it was helpful. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.